Hello, I'm here today with Dr. Elaine Freer of Five Paper Buildings, and we're discussing the use of ancillary orders in criminal courts. And Elaine, my question is, uh, what issues related to legislation are there that are challenging for criminal practitioners in this area? All ancillary orders are based on statute. So whenever there's an application being made for an ancillary order, it's coming from a statute, and therefore the statute will set out when an ancillary order can be applied for, what criteria need to be fulfilled before it can be made, and also probably the potential content of it. So in order to be in the best position to get the best result for your client, you need at least some familiarity with the underlying legislation. But a lot of it is very complex. For example, legislation on football banning orders is labyrinthine. There's lots of different scenarios in which the Crown can apply for a football banning order and so it's unlikely in the five minutes before a hearing you'd have time to fully assimilate all of the things you might need to know about uh, football banning orders. In other areas there are old versions of orders that we now have, so for example the current ancillary order for cases of sexual offences is a sexual harm prevention order but prior to 2003, it was a sexual offences prevention order, but they had different criteria thresholds. So we still see some cases in the courts that are SOPOs instead of SHPOs, because people who were put under long duration SOPOs are sometimes still breaching them, sometimes being brought before the courts. So there's uh, there can be a real difficulty knowing the legislations underlying the order that's being applied for against your client and then being able to navigate your way through it at, at short notice. Mm -hmm. And actually you've provided a way of how to start navigating through that on short notice. Yes, I hope so, mm -hmm. by um, setting out the key bits of the statutes and hopefully in the order in which a practitioner would need to consider yeah. them, which is not always necessarily the order in which they're set out in the statute. Mm -hmm. Hopefully that's given a way to navigate through yeah. them more easily. More of a step-by-step -step process. Yes. Yeah. Okay, great. It's really helpful to hear that. Thank you so much.